um, it's one of the reasons that I'm kind of glad we never did a third one because I don't think it would have been right to have got old with like Tim and Daisy and we even as our lives changed even during the sort of second series um, or certainly you know Simon suggested did um, but when we did the first series we really um, you know I was 24 Jess was 26 and Simon was 27 and you know so it was it was a real gift to be able to do like a youth oriented comedy show and be young and kind of be living in like apartments not similar you know and and we really like did it under the radar like we didn't really get any interference from the network at all like which is you know I, I you know I, I I didn't realize kind of how sort of lucky we were at the time it just felt like so they didn't really well, what, what, no, what was okay. production like? I mean, when you were, what was production like when you were doing the, the show? How would you approach the, the show? Is, is spectacular. You know, of course, I was kidding about Simon. I love him, but I, I, I just, I, I marvel at those episodes because they all feel like little movies. I'm just curious how you put it. Well, it was shot for better or for worse, but mostly for better. But um, it was shot like doing like an independent movie because it was all single camera. And you know, because they're short seasons in the UK, like that was seven episodes per season. I shot the whole thing, but unlike American TV, all the episodes were shot in a big jumble. Um, so we would shoot in the apartment, we would shoot episodes one to seven, and then we would go on location to shoot episode one to seven. In the second series, it started to get more yeah. kind of ambitious on a slightly bigger budget, but then the scripts were more ambitious than the budget. There were like days where we would be doing a scene from every seven episodes, and there was a couple of times it just was complete brain meltdown because I'd be also on top of that trying to do all these transitions in between scenes and uh, you know it was, it was it was very complicated but it was the only real way of getting through it on the budget was to shoot it like a like a big well, low budget movie. The thing is when you, you know uh, it, for a US series uh, one of the things that is it's, it's not necessarily an advantage but it's an interesting process which is that the show as it progresses helps inform what the show is. Yes. And, it's, you know, and if you have all seven scripts finished and you're shooting them all as one big jumble, you can't find an actor, you know, Michael Emerson on Lost was supposed to be in a couple episodes and he was Michael Emerson, so they're like, oh my God, and you know, Damon Carlton just ran with that guy. Working on, on this, what was it like doing it as one chunk and were there ever any moments you, you wished it had been more, you know, one at a time so you could sort of make choices? I think in a strange way, I think probably the how it ended up the way it ended up was because we shot it like that. And in a strange way, with the second series, I remember thinking I would have loved to have shot, we, I mean, I didn't write it, but I script edited it, but I'd love to have written and shot the second series before the first one was even out. Because I think in a weird way, it was like, the, because we shot it, and again, it, like you shoot seven episodes and then it's all on. It's not the kind of thing where sometimes with long running, US seasons, you, you know, you're still shooting as the first episode's on, so you can kind of get a sense of reaction, and if people are really scoring with an audience, they can become bigger. But with this, it was like, it was all done, and then it was out, and then it was like, write another seven, and then shoot them. And I think when we did that, I, I, I remember thinking a bunch of times, I wish we'd written it when, uh, before we got any response. Not that the response was bad, it just kind of made it, like, you're stuck chasing your tail and thinking, between kind of what you want to do and what you're influenced by the and what you think people want to see. What, what, can you just discuss the reaction? Like, what was that like when when it, when it came out? Um, well, it, it was it was um I, I guess it was like so it was not a huge hit space at first, and it's one of the shows that really sort of found its place on DVD. Like, it got well reviewed and did Empire review it? Empire, <laughs> I think they eventually reviewed the DVD. Um, like years later, but um, you know, it got well reviewed, and you know, and it was just at the time when kind of internet message boards were starting to take off, and there was like a fan site for Spaced by episode three, which was kind of like just crazy because up until that point, you know, you'd only seen TV criticism in papers, you know, like, and that would be it, and so actually to kind of, you know, sort of have fans talking about it. And I think, in a way, uh, like the DVD of Spaced for the first season ended up kind of influencing everything I've done since because we realized, even with kind of like the sort of the growing kind of like cult of people that liked it, that, that they would never miss a joke. They would never miss like, and they would go and watch it like two or three times and they would watch the DVD and they would watch it until they got everything. And I felt that way very similar about, you know, my favorite film, like Raising Arizona is it took me about four watches to spot everything. 
and I would go back and watch it again and look for things in the background or callbacks or things that I hadn't spotted or visual kind of rhyming and stuff. And so we tried to kind of absolutely jam-pack space with stuff, especially with the second season, because we knew that people were paying attention. And, and that, was a, that was a nice thing, and so there's kind of a specificity that you can put in where you know that the people feel like they're being spoken to. And Even though you're, you say that you're glad there wasn't another season, is there anything that you wish that you could have done if there were a second season, or a third season, if there was ever anything else that you missed? Why I think probably one of the reasons I think that maybe you know that I'm glad there wasn't a third one is that we I don't think we could quite ever resolve the Tim and Daisy thing in a way that um, people would have wanted, and I don't think Jessica was as interested in making it like a rom com. And you notice in the second season that they kind of start to split off into camps of Simon is with Nick Moore and you know and Jessica is with like Brian and Marsha Moore, and that just came out of their writing because they started to start writing more kind of in tandem than together. Do you know what I mean? Or in parallel, rather. So I think sort of in a way, like sort of the way we got to at the end of the, the last episode of, there was only 14 episodes, and I think sort of, I, I, I personally like, was probably the first person to say, I don't want to do any more. I kind of feel like we've said everything there is to say. And, and, and